Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, John Howell here. And uh, obviously you saw the title of this video. In this video, I'm just gonna walk you through uh, an email that I just wrote for my database. Um, and, um, and, it's also, and it's basically titled, Lessons from my very first 1000% profit trade. It was actually a bit more than that and the lessons that I learned from that and hopefully by the time you finish watching this video that you can see I want to give you some light bulb moments in this email here that I sent it to my database and I'm doing the video for you as well because I want to give you some light bulb moments of what it really takes to start to do really well in the market sort of long term and what do you sort of need that what, what is the what is the approach you need to take in the market so that's what I want to walk you through I'm going to just go basically read this email here that I just sent out to my database but I wanted to do this video that to really help you out. If you are struggling with your trading right now, and you need and you need help, and 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 uh, you're just not sure what to do, well then I'm going to walk you through. I think it's four big lessons here that I'm four big lessons. I think it was was it lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and also lesson four. Yeah. So there's four big lessons I'm going to walk you through here, and I my only hope in this email here is to help you. Uh, see the see the path of how you can truly get ahead in the markets and can do really well from the market So let's get straight into this email here that I just wrote for my database and hopefully this helps you out as well, too I said hey traders in today's coaching email I'm going to walk you through the lessons that I learned from my very first 1000% return on investment trade it was actually 1160% return That's not including brokerage by the way, so it was actually a bit less than that including brokerage that I got out of just last week. Now, if you actually, if you guys want to know what the trade was, it was actually this trade right here. If I bring up this one right here, uh, let's go to the weekly chart. It was it was ALT here. Okay, so it was ALT. This was the trade right here, and my system said to get in on this breakout bar right here. So I got in on this one right here, where it was. You can see where the arrow is. As we speak so I got in there and that's where I got in with I bought plenty of time with options and then the market absolutely just took off through here and as you can see from there to there it just took off that was about 400% growth on the account and then what actually ended up happening was it was this day here that I got out of that made me that return there so if you guys want to know what the actual trade was well, it was that day. I got in there, and as soon as I started seeing a massive, massive spike, I knew it was time for me to start to take some profit. I didn't know I was going to run on for more, but just so you guys know, that was the actual trade that I did there. And so and so did some of my private clients. So if you guys are wondering what type of trade was it, it was that, basic, that, that trade there. So... Let's actually continue here with the email that I wrote. Now, that's, now just so we are clear here, that was not 1,000% one, return on my entire trading account. I had a one thousand. I had five percent of my trading uh, of my trading account on this one trade. So five percent of my account times one thousand one hundred sixty percent equals a fifty-eight percent growth on my trading account. So that's right. By risking no more than five percent of my trading account on this one trade, I made a fifty-eight percent growth on my entire trading account. Before I get into these lessons that I learned from this one trade, I want to be 100% upfront and honest with you. This is not a get rich quick thing. I've been trading now for over 15 years and this is my most successful trade ever. So it doesn't happen all the time, okay? Um, and, and you'll see the reason why sometimes. And But this every now and then when you do trade, you'll be able to see these patterns that come up. And um, and I did not know at the time that this was going to... That, that, I did not know at the time of getting into this one trade that it would make such a big profit. It could actually have actually been a loss, and that's actually a big key here. Trading is hard, and it takes time for you to start doing well. Let's get into the lessons. Number one, your setup. Every day I run my scans looking for trades that meet my trading setup, and I'm taking screenshots of different trades and patterns. So every day I'm running my scans, and I'm looking for the scans, but I'm also taking screenshots of different patterns that I see that repeat themselves again and again and again and again and again. I'm just like, oh, I'm noticing this pattern repeating itself. So... And in the last few years, there is one setup that when it appears on the chart, it gives me a massive high probability that we're going to see a big, big move in this stock. Not a certainty, but a very high probability. 
One day when doing my scans, I came across this one setup, with, with which, which once again, it was this one right here, this ALT setup through here. And so one day, one day when doing my scans, I came across this same setup. I said to my, I said to my private clients at the time why this was likely to make a, such a such a big move. And I've got a link here to to actually watch a free training. If you if you'd like to learn my trading system, then there should be a link that the very first link in the description below. Click on that, you'll be able to actually go see a training um, where where I walk you through my trading system. So lesson number two here, options trading. For such a long time, I've always traded options because of the leverage it gives me. I'm not selling options or doing spreads or anything like that. I'm just simply buying the options with plenty of time and selling it at the right time. So as you saw once again with this trade here, that the key to options is that you wanna buy, you wanna buy obviously low, but then as the market starts to as, you, as the market starts to really get some really big growth, I didn't know this was going to happen afterwards. It actually ran up to about two thousand over two thousand percent return, so I didn't know that. But I did know, but I did know when it, when we did start to get a big spike here that you want to get out at the right time. Getting out at the right time with options is is very 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 crucial to maximizing your profits. Once again, I didn't know at this time through here on this ALT trade that we're going to do that. It could have actually easily just done that. So I just knew at this time here. And once again, you know, I think I'm being greedy now. If I'm getting over a thousand percent profit and now I'm trying to hold on for more, uh, um, it's it's a bit bit greedy there. So that's why getting it at the right time. The options is just the vehicle that I use of the le uh, of of the leverage it, uh, or because of the leverage it gives me. But the most important thing is that you're getting into good setups. That's just such a big thing there, key guys. If you don't have a good setup, then it does not matter. You will lose money most of the time. So it doesn't matter. If it's not the spreads or the or anything like that. So, uh, so that that's 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 really key for you guys to doing well in the markets. The one big thing I love about about buying options is that I only can lose what I put into the trade. But the option can go to two hundred percent, five hundred percent, one thousand percent, and more. So I can put a trade on, we say 5% of my account, which I did with this one trade, and that's 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 my max that's, that's really my max risk. But if the stock does move a lot, I can see a very big gain. I can see very big gains on my account. In this case, over 50% growth on my account by taking no more risk than 5%. This is why I love trading options. I don't have to risk a lot. When it's a loss, I can get out for a small loss. And sometimes when it's a profit, it can be a big profit. Again, like this trade here. And that leads me into less than number three, your risk. The big thing here is that I don't actually have a big risk on my account. Too many people are loading up 50% or more on their own account on any given one trade, trying to make profits fast. Here's what I do. When I see a when I see a trading setup that meets the rules, I buy an option with plenty of time with 5% of my account. If it's a loss, I can get a, I can generally get out of around about a 50% loss, sometimes sometimes less, maybe 30%, maybe 40%, but I can generally get out about a 50% loss. So, 50% loss at 5% of my trading account equals 2.5%. So that's so the risk is only two, so the risk is only really about say 2.5% risk on my account uh, on on these trades here. But as with my best trade ever, I can see a very nice growth. The key here is I risk small on my trading account with every trade, and every now and then I get a home run, just like this one trade just recently. The biggest mistake I made when starting out was risking too much on my account, trying to make too much too quickly, and we know where we know where that leads to. Boom goes my trading account. And that actually happened many, many, many times before I actually started to, to get it. So with every trade I take, I say to myself, if this is a losing trade, am I protecting my account? And if the answer is no, then I know I'm risking too much. Lesson number four here, big profits come from time in the market. If you wanna have a big profit, then you must give your trade time to do its thing. Most traders are jumping in and out of every trade, uh, in and out every day. This is a big mistake, big, 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 big mistake. With this trade that did have 1,000% return, I got into the trade, it went up, in my favor for a few weeks, then a sharp pullback for a few weeks, and then it took off for another month or two uh, before I got out. So if I actually show you the trade here, you'll be able to see that, look at this here. So it ran up a lot through here. So what I was talking about there in the email is that I got into, 
I got into around about here somewhere on the uh, on the charts. As you can see, it went for a very nice run for a while, but then it actually pulled back through here. And then we started to really pick up and that's when things really started to get, get really, really nice. But through this pullback here, I had to be patient. Okay, so it's really, 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 it's a big thing there. I had to be patient and just let the market do its thing, not get too emotional about it. So where was I here? Most traders jumping in, this is a big mistake here. With this trade of 1,000 pen? Yeah, exactly there. <clears throat> The key is it did, uh, um, uh, yeah, before I got out. The key is it did not hit my stop loss, so I just let the trade do its thing. That's a big, big, big thing there, guys. Um, the biggest profit you're going to make is when is, is time in the market. So it's important to get good setups that have the potential to make nice moves, but they're going to stair step in that favor. And you're understanding that. That's where the big profits come from is, uh, is, is basically jumping on nice trends and just going with it. By me having small risk on my account, it allows me to be patient and not act with emotions every single day. It allows me to stay calm and make good decisions. If I was trading a large percent of my trading account on this one trade, my account would have only gone up around 20% max because I would have jumped out fast. You know what I'm talking about, right guys? Like when you're trading a lot of your account, you're too risky. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I want to jump out really quickly. So the, uh, and the reason why, right? Because you can't, you can't lose. You, you can't afford to lose a lot of money here because you, you, you've got too much risk on your account. As you can see, by risking small, I made I made I made more profits because of I made I made more pro. Uh, let me just do this here. As you can see, by risking small, I made more profits because it comes down to being patient in the trade and not getting too emotional. This is the key to risking small and having the opportunity to see high growth on your account, but it all starts with the setup first. I was in this trade for around about two months, and I hope this helps you out, John. So traders, there are the four things here. So let me just quickly recap those lessons here. Firstly, have your setup. What is your setup? And if you can identify and recognize patterns that give you really high probability chance of it making a big move, well, that's what it's all about, identifying these, these things. So what your setup is. Secondly, options. Don't be selling options or your spreads options or any, iron condors, none of that. Okay, it starts with the setup first, then using options uh, and, buying, and buying plenty of time. I generally like to trade at the money or first or second in the money, but with plenty of time. This, uh, this trade here that I got in, I bought a December option. That simply means it's going to expire in December. Now, why did I buy that much time in the option? I bought that much time because I didn't know how long I was going to be in the trade for. I could have been in the trade for two months, three months, four months. I didn't know. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time with that with this trade here because I knew it was going to be what I call a longer term style of play, which means I was going to be in it for not just probably a week or two, but for many months. So I knew that up front by getting into the trade. So, and then lesson number three, and uh, lesson number three is your risk. Don't, don't, don't be, if you are going out there blowing up your trading account, you're trading way too much. Because the fact of the matter is guys, as I walked through with this email here, I talked about how that when I get into a trade, I don't know if that trade's gonna be a profitable trade. I don't know. But if I can set my account up to where if it's a losing trade, I'm risking around a couple of percent, two and a half percent, or maybe even maybe a bit more, as I said through here. So the risk is only two and a half percent of my account. So if I can set my account up to having that being the risk of my account, but then I know with the profit of trades, and some of the profit of trades are gonna to start to do really, really, really well for me, I'm setting up the game to win. So I hope that makes sense. So with, with your risk there. And then lesson number three, big profits come from time in the markets. If you wanna be able to generate big profits from the markets, one, it's all about limiting your risk. And that's when, I, once again, guys, I come back down to the options allow me to limit the risk that I have in there. But then on the flip side, if, I, if, if I'm gonna be in a trade for two or three or four months and, we're gonna, and I'm gonna be part of a very nice upward trend, well then I know that the big profits come from being able to be in the market for quite a bit of time. And as I said in lessons number four, is that most traders are jumping in and jumping out of 
or in the markets and not allowing those trades to have quite a bit of time. They're freaking out one day, one day, one day, one day. This is the reason why you're struggling to do well in profit wise is because you're risking too much, which is not allowing you to sit in these trades sometimes and go for a big run. Now, I must put a caveat on that by saying, traders, it's important to know that when you're getting into a, when you're getting into a setup that you know that it's likely to just it's likely to make a big move. It's likely to be what we call a nice longer term style of play. Makes sense, traders. Like don't don't just be getting in saying, well, I'm going to sit in this here and it's probably going to make a big move. You need to really have a good setup. So with my setup, again, there'll be a link in the description below. Click on that. You can go 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 watch go watch a webinar or something like that, or training or whatever it is, and I'll share with you all the details to the system. And, and, a, and about about how I use a, a short term and long term and what, what they actually look like. And, and so you can actually see what it looks like. And I knew from getting into this trade, this is what we call a longer term play, meaning I knew I was probably going to be in it for quite a bit of time because I had the legs behind it to make a big move. So I hope that makes sense from there. Um, time in the market, if you want to be able to that, you want to be able to hold on to these trades. And the biggest thing is that I see a lot of traders getting into trades and then it might go for them for a while, like I shared with this trade, and then it may pull back for a week or two and people freak out because it's doing that, where the whole big picture is, is still in a very, very bullish trend through there. So I hope this helps you out, guys. Once again, there should be a link in the description there. Click on that, you'll be able to join a webinar or a free training, and I'll share with you the system that I use to actually trade the markets and how I trade the markets. So I hope this helps you out, guys.